And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We got four fun brand new donation decks that we're going to be playing here. Good meme tier decks also. This today we're going to be doing some some crazy stuff um, with these meme tier decks. Our first deck here is going to be an all Freljord deck based around the Howling Abyss. It's basically going to be our one true win con. Going to be this land, landmark creating uh, random level 2 champions for us. We're going to be trying to ramp into it. We got Weirding Stones and Catalyst of Aeons that ramp into the Howling Abyss earlier. And then we got some good defense. We have Harsh Winds and Flash Freeze. Um, we have like some uh, a Sweeper with Avalanche to be able to kill some stuff. And then just kind of a, a smattering of some random units, basically. All kind of defensive. You know, like Braum plays some pretty good defense. Um, Conley Tavern Keeper, Heal on our Nexus for three. Avros and Sentry is a really good blocker. Um, Rhymefang Wolf can, can, uh, people will be scared to attack into Rhymefang Wolf when you have, you know, like Flash Freeze mana and stuff like that. Um, seeing like we're just going to basically be playing defense, looking for the Howling Abyss, playing it, and trying to win with that. That's going to be our deck. Do you think, you know, this is a, a viewer submitted donation deck. One thing that, um, Somebody in chat was pointing out something that could be really good in here, but I, mean, I want to keep the deck like this, but it will be something that we could think about is maybe uh, replacing a couple of these spells and getting some ruinations in here. Because if we're spending seven mana on the Howling Abyss and not affecting the board, the opponent's probably playing things that do affect the board, and then we can go ruination and clean everything up and still have our Howling Abyss in play and then start... Um, you know, playing our level two champions and stuff. So I could definitely see Ruination being a really good card in this deck. But we're going to try it like this. So let's go play our five games. We're just playing them in normal because it is meme tier Monday. So let's just play them in normal. Let's see how uh, they do and let's have some fun. All right, Team Illusion. It's a cool little combination. I imagine... Okay, good. Rhymefang Wolf. I was going to say, I imagine Teemo being... Let's keep Flash Freeze. Um, I imagine Teemo being a little bit difficult with the... Uh, elusive. So I, I mulliganed, I know we had we had like a couple of other Frostbite cards, that Frostbite cards are good with Rhymefang Wolf, but I wanted to mulligan them um, for uh, looking for the, you know, the Howling Abyss, because we do need to find the Howling Abyss. And you know, of course we want ramp cards as well. Have a mushroom. All right, Puff Cat Peddler. <laughs> I probably want to... I think I want to save the two mana for Troll Chant to stop a Mystic Shant. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to play the Starlet Seer first. Another suit up. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Who's a good boy? All right, so we're gonna have to flash freeze. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. Flash freeze, then avalanche. Run away, Mike. Best not ruffle our feathers. Blessed by snow and stars. I'm just gonna let the starlet seer die. Sorry. Barrier. 
Well, that's pretty sweet. So the big regret was playing that Starlet here. If I just don't, if I don't play the Starlet here, I would have had the second flash freeze for the Teemo for the second suit up. That's where I messed this game up. Uh, yeah, luck. Your donation deck was with Overgrown Snapvine. That's going to be the, the Snapvine Overwhelm deck. This is going to be pretty difficult to win from here. Their deck really worked out really well of just like, you know, Teemo, protection from Teemo, grow Teemo with suit up, rally a bunch. Their deck worked out really well. Excuse you. Alright, Howling Abyss. That's good. Ah. Rising Spell Force. Well, I guess that's gonna do it. So obviously I've, you know, double that up. We are gonna have way too many puff caps now. Whoa, no puff caps there? They probably still just have more protection for Teemo. Or another Teemo. Teemo. Well, this was a pretty sweet game for them. Yeah, I could use Troll Chant to save it, but I need Troll Chant whenever the Teemo is attacking. We obviously need to get really lucky with, we have two more draw steps, we need no puff caps, or, you know, less than four puff caps for two draw steps. Now. That was, that was pretty close, though. That was a good game. They did a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah, the yeah the, the suit up on turn two was pretty sweet. Also, but yeah, if I just don't play, I mean, if I just don't play the Starlet Seer, I'd have the two flash freezes. I think I would have been fine. All right, Lux Leona. So we're gonna ramp and look for Howling Abyss. None of those are Howling Abyss. See, they're a Leona deck. So I got my Leona emote. 
Good morning, Rainy. Come on, Howling Abyss. Yes. We found it. No, that was Solari Priestess. Bask in her radiant that thing's going to kill me in 20 turns. Devotion through battle. Yeah, we're basically dead in 19 more turns. Justice will be served. I want some pizza served. Really hope they didn't grab the thing that obliterates with Solari Priestess. Everywhere I go, the light follows. All right, who do we got? Katarina. Katarina's a good waster of mana. We can waste some mana on a Katarina. No, they did grab Fallen Comet. Come on. That's cheating. Well, that's too bad. I could I could definitely see why Ruination's good in this deck, though, right? <laughs> you know, it'd be, it'd be nice to have Ruination. Or have, you know, like some removal spell for champions like that. Yeah, that's not fair. Just obliterating my landmark. Like, what do we what do we ever do now? I don't even know what we're supposed to do now. Should have blocked the one-two and used Elixir of Iron. Get that one-two out of here. What will you have? Well, that's too bad. They got rid of my my one good card. <laughs> I'm one Howling Abyss. Yeah, we're supposed to just try to like frostbite their attackers and have my Howling Abyss keep creating, you know, like level two champions that would keep playing. No yeah, I'm excited for the new update also. All three of the champions look really fun to play. Save Troll Chan. No, I mean we have three we have three copies of it, but yeah, like it's our it's our only card that like it's our it's our only win condition basically, but you know, we have three Howling Abysses. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. We only need one more mana of spell for Lux. My faith protects me. Of course, I'm not playing. I'm not going to play a unit this turn so they don't get anything out of their final spark. But yeah, definitely, definitely could see how someone was saying that we should put some ruinations in this deck. I think I like this game, like just having ruinations would be really nice. Rome is on the job. 
Yeah, we... Let's put some ruinations in here. Okay, so we're gonna try we're gonna try putting in ruinations. What we decided to do was take out one elixir of iron, um, the ice veil archer, and one harsh winds. And we're gonna try that. Um, you know, just another really good defensive tool for while while we are trying to set up our howling abyss. I think ruination could fit in here really well. Yeah, Elixir of Iron, yeah, we don't really, you know, it can it can help, like, your Weirding Stone stay alive. Yeah, it's good with the Starlet Seer. It's also just, you know, it's good after we start getting our champions. So we're playing against Fearsome. Tavern Keeper is good against Fearsome. Brahms, okay, I mean, because it makes the Mighty Poro. I kind of like Harsh Winds in this matchup, but... Um, yeah, I think I'll keep Harsh Winds. No, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have kept harsh winds. Okay, that ruination could be pretty good. Maybe we can set that up, you know, on turn six or so. Playing Blighted Caretaker. Rum is on the job. Alert the kitchen. We'll need more food. Stand behind Rum. Could have saved four life there with the flash freeze, but I'm going to just wait. Yeah, I guess Curse Keeper kind of plays around Avalanche. Maybe that's a card they're worried about. I can see that. So that's going to be Braum surviving... Four total damage. Yeah, I mean, I guess the Curse Keepers are really good against Ruination, I guess. It's a good anti-Ruination card. It doesn't really make sense to cast Ruination. We'll just cast, like, some Harsh Winds, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it makes sense to cast ruination. They still. They just get two four power things. Maybe good to kill both of them. Can I afford to play Howling Abyss this turn? Well, now I got Kindly Tavern Keepers. So that's interesting. I can't level up, Rom. So, 
Okay, so I think they have, or well, let's see. No, I guess that would have been that card they drew. So I, th I guess those two are the same. We know those those two are the same, and I think it's these two are also the same. So I'm thinking about going like the Brahms take heart to make Brahm, you know, three power, and then Conley Tavern Keeper. I think I'd do that. Come on in. Good times, good friends. What could be better? This is, of course, me having everything in play. Uh, these things are three twos. So I can go Harsh Winds on the two Fearsomes and block the four ones. Alright, cool. We got leveled up Braum. Level up Braum's good. This Brom gonna take over. It is easy, see? So I also do have a Rhyming Wolf. No, I think I need to play Howling Abyss this turn. The reason, the reason the reason I have Rhyming Wolf challenge is, is if they have another Skitter. So more Skitters would be a problem. But if they if they play another skitter next turn, then I go ruination. Okay, they're just playing that to let it die. Huh. Okay. All right, now we got our engine going. Our howling abyss engine. Draven's actually pretty sweet here, creating these spinning axes. They protect against uh, protect against frenzied skitter. There you are. Hmm. So they pull two things. We should be fine. Yeah, like we'll be fine. Come, come this way. Got an axe with your name on it. Time for the money makers. <laughs> This is me going to three. Hey, buddy, what you doing? You hoping they'll die of If I flash freeze the Callista. This is gonna hurt for you. I still I still take it a da I still take one damage if I flash freeze the Callista. So I guess it's only one extra life to do that, so. Alright. So we save four. Uh, so we're going to go to six instead of going to two. We're not going to die. We won't die to an atrocity. And we'll keep on getting some mighty poros. And yeah, that's true. Doom Beast also. Got to watch out for them. Border from here. Okay. Ooh. Level up Nocturne's pretty sweet. Safeguard our homes. Have you met my shield? I think I'll just attack.
Awesome. Yeah, and we had yeah we had ruination protection against harrowing. Exactly. Yeah, Braum was MVP that game for sure. That was pretty awesome. All right, Soraka and Vladimir. This is this seems like a, a matchup where ruination would be really good. Uh, I like the Santa. They they can still stop ruination with Bastion, but they're probably going to be playing, you know, a bunch of you know, like they're going to be like a unit based deck playing a bunch of units and we ruination. Today base camp. Tomorrow the summit. <laughs> yeah, the the Dragon Rally deck is uh, a deck built around the. Safeguard our Dragon Guard Lookout card. You know, whenever that that card that whenever you summon it, rally. So playing that in uh, with Ionia with Go Get It. So you can have Go Get It return the Dragon Guard Lookout, put it into play, rally some some more, and then you cast your zero cost Dragon Guard Lookout again and rally some more. All right, they got some Zenith Blades. I found my family, my bloodkin. Let us get going. I can do this. Help is on the way. Look out for Reavers. Wait. You are safe with Brawl. <laughs> Yay, Howling Abyss. It is easy, see? Yeah, I saw Riven. Talked about uh, Riven earlier. Riven uh, looks like a lot of fun. Definitely my kind of champion. First we fight. I'll just pass. Where do they want to pass to? Okay, no more Zenith Blades. My shield is we should be friends. Oh, I don't why am I not attacking with Mighty Poro? I'm just all like defense control deck. I'll try anyone. I guess Mighty Poro could have attacked. I wish I had seven mana this turn. This would be a good howling abyss turn. I'll just it's just one damage from Crimson Disciple. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. Alright. I know I could have troll chanted and, and tried to kill the Crimson Disciple with Rhyme Fang Wolf, but I, I I kinda felt like I'd rather just keep like a troll chant to like maybe shut shut down a bastion. Let's show our friends they know. Have you met my shield? Good luck. Have fun. Mm. We should be friends. Let's hit this thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Time to celebrate! Cool, got leveled up, Braum. How did you get to know so much about stars, Soraka? Well, it's a long story. So if we find another Braum... We're gonna have leveled up Braum. I love a man with style. Heard it all before. That's of course is a cool combo, Crimson Awakener. Star Spring. <clears throat> Alright, definitely going for Ruination this next turn. Live with purpose. <laughs> Fizz. The most powerful level two champion there is. They're at seven. Cool, so they didn't draw an extra card from the Soraka. Levitation requires concentration. We see through all. 
Oh, yes. Your future holds lots of purple. Uh, thank you, sir. Must not ruffle our feathers. Crystal. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, glad to have you here, Mafia Plot. We after the first, we lost the first two games. We decided to put in Ruination after the those first two, and and been really happy with Ruination. I don't know if I want to like throw all these champions away before Ruination, but then again, we are just going to continually generate new champions. So I guess maybe I shouldn't be that worried about them leaving. Leave your tracks in the door. Oh, I can't wait. You're going to be a 1 6 now. Braum being a 1 6, kind of annoying. Because I don't want to do 1 damage. Because <laughs> I don't want them to be able to heal. Alright, just going to get kind of get a couple of blockers out here. Have them extend some more. So that's going to be 10 now. So they've played all three Zenith Blades. What's up, Tarek? This does make sense. Like you know, like you just have them. You just keep playing like some champions. They extend, then you ruination, and then you get to play more no champions. Yeah, whatever. Ruination does fit in here. I've got meat bigger than you. Fly away while you can. Alright, and Ruination before they use those gems and heal all the damage I just dealt. Um, let's see. Beauty and Maybe a Taric. Taric and Braum don't really work that great together of the because Braum you know, then can't take damage or die. Well Gangplank's cool. Fear the power do not see. There we go, Swain and Gangplank. What do you want? I rarely forget and never forgive. Try to understand. I matter, you don't. Okay, we're gonna have those two can't take damage or die. I'll show them. And then they can kill the gangplank, I guess. <clears throat> but I don't want them to kill Swain. Because they kinda have to block Swain. Or not. Well, the 2-2 should block Terra, because it's just going to die to Swain anyway. Oh. Um. That can be bad. Where are they at? Okay, well, they're only at 11. <clears throat> yeah, like they might have might as well have blocked that 2-2. Alright, so that gives them that puts them at twelve. Explosives. Looking for some action, Ed? Blood exists to be pumped, no? I go where the road takes me. All right, and who's our other champion going to be? Vladimir. Pledge of perish to protect all. All right. Two and two. Ruination was super clutch that game. Both those Ruinations. Real clutch. Alright, Soraka Tom Kench. Another really good Ruination matchup. Basically the same, same kind of matchup. Um, they're a lot, probably a lot better Starspring deck though, and so they may kill me with Starspring faster, which would be bad. Um, what do I think of Starlet Seer? Maybe not necessary. I want ramp cards. I want to ramp into this. Basically want ramp. And then, you know, Howling Abyss, Ruination. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, the elusive henchman. We got Kempunk pickpocket, and we have. Um, so we, we have the pickpocket in there, and we also have River Shaper. So both both pickpocket and River Shaper are both good, really good cards to give elusive. Okay. Probably save one of them, maybe two of them. Or not. Yeah, ring the bell. Those two twos are done. Yeah, overgrown snap fine. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna have six mana next turn. Hmm. Overgrown snap fine is a is a Shadow Isles five three. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Cool. That worked well. Appetizers of plenty. Oh, plenty. And I like that the troll chant gets rid of a bastion. You know, if I, you know, ruination bastion. So that's good too. Yeah, they probably just have all defense and healing. Whoa, Twisted Fate? Leveled up Twisted Fate? Whoa, and after Wizard. Keeping that sub going for 44 amazing months. Thank you so much, After Wizard. They usually only play two Bastions. So, like, if I go Ruination and then Troll... No, we probably don't Ruination. We probably play just some of this other random stuff. I just want to get cards out of my hand, basically. Oh, you're all so cute. All right, got some cards out of hand. Yeah, the thing is, like, Twisted Fate, like, red card... You know, the blue card's great, but, like, red card and gold card against this deck isn't actually that great. And the thing is, we already have, like, tons and tons of cards in hand. This you know. I want to play another Howling Abyss. But... We don't have room in, in hand for all these things. And Kinkles! Also getting that resub going. Man, lots of resubs today. Thanks, everybody. Our fourth sub of the day. Okay. Alright, put a little pressure on him. Those are my cards to get rid of a Bastion. The Spell Shield. Come on in. Um. Now, where was I? Red, blue card, red card, that kind of stuff can get rid of it. You know, not blue card, but you know, red card and gold card can get rid of a Spell Shield also. I'm sure there's something for my Lucian. And a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Ichi Musi. Musai. Musai, sorry. Hopefully I came somewhat close to pronouncing that. It's our sub goal, so we're going to play some bonus games today. After the stream. Alright, let's go Elixir of Iron on... I don't know. You? So we can red card to get rid of Something for all. Get rid of that. The homestead. Osu, help. Looking grim. Six mana. So they usually only play two bastions in like in their whole deck. They just they already played one. I'm gonna try this out. Okay. 
So the hush, unfortunately, I don't get I don't get my things back. You know, I don't get the leveled up twisted fate back. And with everything dying at the same time, I don't get the extra attack. But okay, they conceded. They probably just have you know like a bunch of astral protections and things like that in hand. All right, so that went really well once we you know, made that change. Put in the ruinations. The ruinations were just kind of perfect. You just sit back, uh, you know, get your howling abyss in. So our first two losses were the second one was against you know a Lux um, Daybreak Lux deck that you know had the invoke cards and I played Howling Abyss. They they had their Solari Priestess go grab the um, obliterate the Fallen Comet, obliterate my Howling Abyss, and I you know I didn't really ever find. I didn't find another Howling Abyss, and I just had like a bunch of Frostbite cards. And you know, they just played all their Daybreak stuff. It was definitely a thing like where we needed Ruinations to clear away all their Daybreak cards and Lux and stuff. That's whenever we put in the Ruination afterwards. And then the first loss was, you know, to that Teemo deck that was pretty cool. That They had the Teemo and protected it all the time. Um, that one I made the mistake of. I had Rhymefang Wolfen play to challenge Teemo. And I had, flat, I had two flash freeze and a, cent, a starlet seer, and I played the starlet seer first, so then I then I could flash freeze. I think, I, and then I still had flash freeze and troll chant available, but I needed to have double flash freeze. So I needed to not play starlet seer. I needed the six mana for the double flash freeze. Um, so I made that mistake, but um, you know, who knows if we would have won that? Still, they did have another teamo, and you never know. But um, but yeah, I think that worked really well with just going howling abyss ruination. That was pretty cool. And, you know, Braum was an all-star. Because we beat two good decks there, those last two games. You know, we, we beat the Fearsome deck, which is, you know, one of the most played decks. And we also beat Tom Kench to Rocket. Like, both of those were decks that I played yesterday on Rank Up Sunday when I was playing uh, Tier 1 decks. Like, that's, those are two of the decks that we played. So that was pretty exciting, being able to beat both of those. Um, yeah, that was, that was really exciting. All right, but there we go. There's the Howling Abyss. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I appreciate that. Let me know what you think of the deck, um, you know, built around the Howling Abyss here. Because uh, this is a fun card, because champions are really fun. And getting level 2 champions are even more fun. And you just get, you know, your random level 2 champions. So that's, that's definitely a fun card. All right, but anyway, that's it here for the Howling Abyss. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.